Did you know, in over 3 billion meetings held each year, ideas are being forced to live in less than ideal conditions. Most are never seen or are shot down due to killers such as meeting hijackers or strong personalities. Many exist on bits of paper, seen only by the chosen few, just to be rewritten again. Others are forced into long, drawn-out, complex systems designed to launch rocket ships. Even more are lost in the noise of social media, or at the bottom of a long list when no one sees them. Others become victims of edit wars as people fight it out on current software options. Imagine even just 10 people trying to share a virtual whiteboard equally. So how do we get a bunch of brilliant minds onto the same page, not fighting over one? Simple. We give them each their own page and we take the ideas to them. Then we pull it all together to see the big picture. And that's how group map works. Group map is a simple, visual and effective way to help you get more meaning out of your groups. Here's how it works. Simply choose a map that best suits your problem. Mind maps are great for general brainstorming. 2D charts allow you to visually compare ideas against two dimensions. And prioritise lists take the time, effort and argument out of working out what things should go where. Then you invite brilliant minds in with a secure link or password, whether it's a team of 5 or 500, to answer the question. Each person starts capturing their own unique response on their map. Using a little smart technology, we take their ideas and suggest them in turn to everyone else. We manage information overload and rotate ideas for equal airtime, reducing social loafing and groupthink. We make things fast but fair. As suggestions are shown, people decide if they want to add, reject, move or merge these into their own response. Deleting an idea on your map doesn't delete it off everyone else's. Group map aggregates the data and reveals what everyone is thinking in real time at any time. No more manual collations. Suddenly, you're a mind reader. The level of support for each idea is indicated by its size and the relationships between them can be seen visually. Individuals can compare their views to the person sitting next to them and to the group view, closing the feedback loop. As a team, we've built a picture together, making it easier for us to take the next step and giving us more time for the really important stuff. And it's not just mind mapping either. Different formats, such as charts, allow for other group activities, such as stakeholder mapping, prioritization and ranking, or competitor analysis. There's nothing to install, and it currently works on desktops and tablets. So how has group map been used so far? Well, these teams have used it to plan strategy, get employee feedback, create culture initiatives, and solve business problems quickly, collaboratively, and effectively. This research institute undertook a national scenario planning study to see what factors would impact health in 20 years' time. The government sector has also given us the thumbs up with 150 folk brainstorming ways to improve services. The top ranked ideas were presented visually to the panel on the same day rather than weeks later. So you might be asking, can I try it for free? Absolutely! Visit our website to get started, create your free account and start creating your own group maps. You can also try out some public maps on our Facebook page and like us to keep up to date with the latest. Group map, where minds meet.